Hi, I'm Noel Sands, driver for Gilmore Racing in the 2022 Australian Formula 3 Championship in the Delara Formula 3 car. Um, you've only seen the car for the first time in the last couple of days and hopefully in the next few days we'll do the seat fitting and, and get ready for your first test day which is coming up. So what was your initial impressions of the car? Um, the car looks good, there's a lot of aero compared to Formula 4 because Formula 4 is pretty basic. And uh, yeah, even the steering wheel with the little instrumentals on the, the wheel is a, a fair advancement from Formula Ford because it's Formula Ford's really the basic. So yeah, when I first saw the car, everything was sort of bigger, more complex, and yeah, very interesting. And you're obviously pretty excited to get in the car for your first test day. Yeah, looking forward to the first test day. Um, looking forward to driving these cars. Everyone says they're really, really fast. They're very high downforce. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see how much grip they've got, how fast they can go, and yeah, we'll see if I can drive it. So obviously after joining KCK Racing Australia last year, things have progressed pretty well for you. And now you find yourself in the Gilmore Racing Formula 3. Do you want to, want to tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, after joining KCK Racing Australia last year, um, then the connection naturally led to Gilmore Racing. And uh, joining Gilmore Racing was a really easy decision for us after the past successes they've had, the drivers they've brought through, and what those drivers have gone on to do in, in other motorsport categories overseas and in Australia. But obviously we've spoken about the progression to Formula 3 and how you say that's a natural step. Tell us a little bit about where you started in racing and where you see yourself ultimately. Firstly I started in go-karts and uh, just learnt my craft there. Uh, did that for about 9 years then the natural step was to go to uh, Formula Ford and got uh, seasoned in last year that in the National Series and finished running up in my rookie year. And then uh, we thought, well, the next step could be uh, Formula 3. And uh, we looked into that and, uh, yeah, we ended up here with Gilmore's. Yeah, fantastic. Well, you said you've had a lot of success and a lot of great results. So you're obviously, obviously very skilled at what you do, but probably a little bit more about, you know, behind the scenes and your fitness and, and everything, the, the, the stuff people don't see, you know, the, the, the early mornings, the running, the, the cardio training, that sort of stuff. Do you want to tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, well, people don't realise it takes a lot, firstly, to drive a Formula Ford car, and then it's another step again to drive a, a Formula 3 car. So um, it's going to be a bigger step this year. I took fitness pretty serious last year, but this year is uh, going to be a bigger step again, and uh, we'll put our best foot forward. And we, uh, we, we really hammer the drivers on upper body strength to hold onto the steering wheel and neck fitness because of the high G-forces through longer, longer sweeping corners. So, that would be something we work on during the course of the year. Yeah, especially at uh, tracks like Sydney Motorsport Park, um, the Bend Motorsport Park, that's going to be really tough. So um, I'm going to do my best to make sure I'm prepared. I know the car's fast. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Fantastic. And where do you see yourself going? Formula 3 is a stepping stone, as well as Formula 4 and go-karts. So where's your end goal? Where do you want to end up? Um, I'd like to end up in main game supercars would be the goal. But um, if I got a chance to drive overseas, I would, I would take that. And pretty much any, I'll take any opportunity to be a professional racing driver in Australia. We're going to try to document your year and follow you through your rookie year in Formula 3 and obviously we're hoping for big results but there'll be a lot of challenges, um, a, lo a lot of things will come up so yeah we'll, we'll keep doing the video series, we'll start off with a, the with a seat fitting in the next couple of days and the first test day and then roll that through into the race meetings but what are you thinking? Yeah guys stay tuned, 
Um, it would definitely, definitely be interesting. This is going to be a good series, it's giving an insight into what only happens at the track, but maybe behind the scenes as well. Not many people get to see it, so I'm looking forward to see how it turns out in the end. And yeah, stay tuned.